Each side of aluminum foil has its significance. There is a matte side and a shiny side. Each has a different use. Almost everyone has aluminum foil at home, but we often don't use it according to its proper application. There are two ways to use foil, with the shiny side up or down. One side helps retain the temperature of the food, while the other helps reduce it. To make it easy to understand, we'll show you how to use it. When wrapping a product in aluminum foil with the matte side out, it allows heat to pass through easily and reach the inside of the package. This is helpful for preparing potatoes on the grill. Wrap the potatoes in foil with the matte side up. Repeat this for the number of potatoes you want to cook. The potato will be perfectly cooked and not burnt. On the other hand, use the shiny side up to wrap a sandwich for work or food that will be stored in the fridge. Did you know that each side of the foil has a different application? I wrapped the pipe from the kitchen sink with aluminum foil. The effects were visible after just a few days. This trick was shown to me by a plumber. I'm sure you've never heard of this use of tin foil before. A lot of dirt and grease builds up in the pipes of the kitchen sink. When washing up, food residues get into the pipes. They are responsible for the bad smell from the sink. To wash up, we use warm water, which dissolves the grease. In the drain pipes, it begins to cool down, blocking the flow. It turns out that all you need is ordinary aluminum foil. Tear off a large piece. Then tightly wrap the foil around the pipe with it. Cover the entire surface of the drain pipe with it. It has thermal insulation properties. This will keep the water flowing through it warm longer. Oil and oily sludge will drain into the vertical pipe. It will not settle in the trap pipe before draining. I have tested this trick myself and there is no longer a bad smell coming out of my sink. Even after pouring leftovers from the pan. I am delighted that such a cheap and simple way really works. I clean the washing machine regularly. Dirt and lime scale disappear. The washing machine is clean and the laundry always smells fresh. Apply toothpaste to the inner glass of the door. Take half a lemon and spread the paste. Do this especially at the edges, where residue from water and detergents often accumulates. Once you've cleaned the entire glass, toss the lemon into the washing machine drum. Now, focus on the door seal in the washing machine. This is the area where most dirt accumulates and mold. Sprinkle this area with baking soda. It will remove dirt, mold spores, and eliminate unpleasant odors. After doing this, close the washing machine. Open the detergent drawer and spray it with vinegar, all compartments. Vinegar removes scale, detergent, residue, and mold. If you clean the washing machine irregularly, mold will never appear. Close the drawer and run the washing machine on a standard program. Toothpaste, lemon, baking soda, and vinegar will clean the interior of the washing machine and eliminate deposits and lime scale. These ingredients also eliminate mold spores, which may be responsible for the unpleasant odor coming from the washing machine. When the washing machine finishes, open it and remove the lemon. You'll immediately notice that the entire interior shines. Wipe it dry and it will be cleaner than ever. The detergent drawer will also be cleaner. During the next laundry cycle, you'll notice that your clothes will smell wonderfully. You don't have to worry about the smell of mustiness and mold. Here's how I save a lot of money. First, grate some soap using a coarse grater. Pour the grated soap into a bowl. Add four tablespoons of baking soda and two tablespoons of salt. Squeeze an entire tube of toothpaste into the bowl. Also, add 30 milliliters of dishwasher rinse aid and 30 milliliters of dish soap, which contains surfactants that remove dirt and residues. The water softener in the detergent helps to eliminate lime scale. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly. Transfer the mixture into smaller bowls. Add a bit of food coloring to each bowl for better contrast and mix until well combined. Use a spoon to transfer the mixture into molds and let it set for a few minutes. Then, take one of the balls to the toilet. It's an eco-friendly alternative. Drop it into the toilet bowl and pour in 500 milliliters of vinegar. The resulting foam cleans just as well as store-bought cleaners. This homemade alternative costs just a few dollars and works just as effectively.
Now your toilet will be sparkling clean and the bathroom will smell fresh and pleasant. Plus, it's inexpensive and easy to make at home. This pink liquid is a real miracle. Cleaning the house has never been so enjoyable. Take a glass jar and pour in 100 milliliters of alcohol. Then add 100 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, which is commonly known as hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide acts as a disinfectant, while the alcohol helps evaporate moisture, preventing streaks. Next, add one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Finally, pour in three cups of water to dilute the solution. Transfer the mixture to a spray bottle. Gently shake the bottle to mix the ingredients thoroughly. This pink cleaner is excellent for tackling stubborn limescale in bathrooms. It works well on countertops bathroom surfaces, and even glass. It provides effective cleaning while being gentle on surfaces. Dip a twig in it and spray the bathroom. The silverfish will disappear as if by magic wand after just one night. It's a home remedy for small bugs that appear out of nowhere in the bathroom. These insects don't have wings. You can most often find them in the bathroom, especially at night. They feed on scraps left in bathrooms. It's moist enough there for them to live and reproduce. Silverfish aren't harmful, they don't bite, and they don't carry any diseases. However, they're not welcome and disgust many people, but you don't have to buy expensive and toxic silverfish killers. Just make a homomadi spray to get rid of. These bugs from the bathroom once and for all. The corners and nooks sprayed with it will be an impassable barrier. Such a spray will repel them. They won't show up in the bathroom anymore. Pour vinegar into a pot and heat it. Most insects can't stand the smell of vinegar. They avoid it like the plague. Put a sprig of rosemary in the vinegar. The scent of rosemary repels insects. It also works on silverfish. Add a few drops of lavender oil to the mixture. Such a remedy won't kill the silverfish, but it will effectively repel them. It's completely safe. You can also use it in the kitchen. Its scent will dissipate. So use such a spray every few days. You'll quickly get rid of the silverfish. Place a ball of aluminum foil in the fridge, and you'll be surprised by the results. This trick is particularly useful for getting rid of a few unpleasant issues. Here's how to do it. First, take some aluminum foil and tear off two identical pieces. You'll need two amazing products that you definitely have at home, salt and coffee. Put a tablespoon of each product onto the foil and gently mix them together. Now, wrap the aluminum foil with the mixture inside into a ball. Do the same with the second piece of foil. Once you have the balls well formed, take a toothpick and make holes in them. This step is crucial. After you've done everything, place the aluminum balls in the fridge. Finally, let me tell you what they're for. Very often, various smells come from the food stored in the fridge. Sometimes these smells are not pleasant and can linger for quite a while. These balls help with that. The combination of salt and coffee neutralizes these odors. Additionally, they also serve as an insect repellent, keeping bugs that get into the fridge at bay.